assorted integer array nums again assorted array nums and an integer n so you will be given two inputs nums and n as you can see you are given nums and n now you can add patch basically adding as in patching by patching as in putting some element into the array such that any number in the range 1 to n because n is given 1 to n any number which means 1 2 3 up till n inclusive 1 and n inclusive can be formed by the sum of some of the elements in the array now it is kind of saying that you have to patch or add some elements in the nums such that if i take a subsequence and if i try to find the sum of that subsequence i should ultimately be able to get any sum between 1 to n now if you had watched the previous bit set crash course you would have seen that if we want to find all possible sums of an array as in all possible subsequent sums of an array we use the bit set technique if you don't know you can just go and watch this video it's a standard thing which you should be knowing now can we use this that's the first question because we have learned this trick so is it possible we can use this or not that is one question which you should be knowing because if you use this trick you have to make a bit set array to make the bit set array you should know the number of possible sums which are possible so that will be dependent upon n because they are saying that every sum from 1 to n should be possible with the subsequence right and n itself is actually 2 ratio 31 minus 1 which is roughly 2 e, like 2 into 1 e 9 so which is 2 e 9 so that much sum like 1 e 9 power sum that much big that much big bit set array we cannot make so one thing is obvious that we cannot use this bit set tick although we know that bit set helps us to build all such sub arrays all such possible sub sequences sum but i cannot use this technique okay let's go on further back and try to break down the example itself what the example is saying example say okay i have nums again they the nums are sorted so i'm sorted i'm actually good uh, and i have to make all possible sums from one to six okay let's start building all possible sums now my main aim is that i should be able to build the sum one two three four five and six that's my aim cool now let's start off in the very beginning i have one okay one sum is done i'm sorted okay one sum is done next sum i'm looking for is two next element for me available in the array is three with the three i know very with the three i am saying with three because i know that the next element is smallest one if I, even if I had elements after it, it would have been large, which means four, five, six. But I am saying with the three, the smallest possible sum of a subsequence I can make is three itself. Next subsequence would have been three plus one, which is four. So the sum will only increase, but the smallest possible subsequence sum as the contribution of three would have been three. But I wanted what? I wanted a two. Where is where will I get a two from? I cannot so the only possible option for me is either i add one more one or i add a two only if i have added a one more one obviously i can form if i take this as a subsequence i can form a two as a sum i'm good i'm sorted and you can easily see three is always also available so three is also available but i am saying that no bro one thing you know that your two was missing so you had to add some element now to add some element you realize one thing that either i can add a one or a two just to build up a two because i know i have every possible sum before two which means i have a one so if i would have added a one more one from my if i would have add if i, if I would have patched one more one from my end i would have added one more one i had one previously as a as a subsequence and adding both of them i would have achieved a two as sum but then i said bro um do one thing take the maximum one only take the maximum one which means whatsoever number is missing take that one only don't take smaller elements why you will see later on but okay i took the maximum number which is missing okay my missing one, number was two i took two only i took two because of two again remember i patched a two here i patched a two here as soon as i patched a two what will happen what all possible sums are available because of two now two itself is two, like two itself will be available and also two plus one which is three will also be available because of patching of two i'm saying okay now it is done 
because of two that that is the only contribution now comes the three okay like as i can say now comes the requirement of me as a three but i already have a three right yeah i already have a three so shall i go on no if i have a three i should ask him okay bro uh what all possible sums you can give to me i will say okay i have this three i have two earlier like i passed it two earlier so i can easily say that all these possible sums are possible now upcoming is a three three is already there okay but because of upcoming three and the existing sums i can say that three plus one four is also possible three plus two five is also possible three plus three six is also possible what i mean by that is three plus one four possible three plus two five possible three plus three this is three six is also possible thus i realized oh because of incoming three i was able to get all these numbers also okay so and ultimately my aim was to get all the numbers from one to six and i'm okay so i realized i i only had one patch okay answer is one in this case as you can see answer is one in this case okay let's go on to the next next example but you learn a lot of stuff from this example first thing you learn from this example is that when something was missing i for sure for sure have to add a patch for it now to add a patch for it i realized i have multiple options either i can add a smaller number or the exact number which is missing i choose to add higher number just so that i could build more I, i could build more number of sums because i want to reach my n ultimately now let's repeat that same process for the example number 2 how let's see so firstly we realize that we had a again ultimate aim to form all the elements from 1 to 20 1 i have 2 i wanted to have but it is missing and it is for sure cannot be possible to make it until unless i add a 2 or a number less than 2 which means i can have my 2 is missing so i can add a 1 as a patch or again 2 as a i can add 2 as a patch if i would have had the 1 as a patch i wo- i would have only able to make a number which is 2 right but if i would have able to make add a 2 as a patch i will be able to make a number 2 and 2 plus 1 which is 3 as a sum so you realized that is the reason earlier i added a higher number as a patch because adding a higher number as a patch will result me more number of sums and that will be beneficial for me because now next missing number is 4 now i will add 4 as a patch because 4 will help me produce 4 plus 1 5 4 2 6 4 and 4 3 7 it will help me produce all these possible sums so we realize it is good to add higher number as a patch so now i added 2 as a patch because of 2 adding as a patch i was able to produce a sum as 2 and 2 plus 1 as 3 this is a possible sums i can produce this is a possible sums i can produce now next missing number is 4 obviously 4 is missing if the 4 is missing then ah either to achieve 4 either to achieve 4 you could have you could have added a 1 as a patch or a 2 as a patch or 3 as a patch or 4 as a patch because see 1 plus 3 would have achieved a 4 but then i thought okay i realized that it is good to greedily approach the highest patch value which i should add so i will take the highest patch value which is 4 which is the option for me to achieve a 4 i will add a highest patch value and i'll add a 4 if i add a 4 then okay 4 is possible because i added a patch of 4 but 4 plus 1 5 is possible 4 plus 2 Six is possible, and four plus two plus one, which is seven, is also possible. Which which means that four is possible, four plus one five is possible, four plus two six is possible, four plus three seven is possible. Thus, because of adding four as a patch, all these number up till seven are possible. Okay, great. Now let's let's see. Uh, let's move on. We have added two and four as a patch. Now we move to five. Oh, five is already available, and my requirement, although was a eight. I require all those eight, but I can see okay five is available. But because of five being added, five plus one six will also be available. Five plus two seven will also be available. But you will say R and this these are already available. Yeah, obviously these are already available. So yeah, we can ignore it. We can ignore it. But five plus three eight is available. Five plus four nine is available. Five plus five ten is available. Up till five plus seven twelve. 
is also available because of because of five and because of earlier higher because of, because of earlier four added this is a possible sum i could get which is seven and now when five would come in picture he would say that because of five which is already there up till 12 the sums are possible and that is possible and that is because seven was seven as a sum was already there so that is the reason i wrote five five which is this input and the seven which is the patch value patched is some possible sum i could have now ultimately when 10 came in picture already uh 10 is already there so as in like for me the requirement ideally was a 13 but i can see because of 10 coming in picture i had the maximum sum value as 12 which means obviously i can form the sum as 22 up till 22 which means 10 plus 1, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, up till 22, I can form the sum because I have the maximum earlier sum as 12. Cool. Thus, I achieved that. Okay. Up till 12, up till 22, I can achieve a sum. And thus, I wanted the sum only up till 20 and I'm good to go. That is, see, you see like how beautifully complex this has become. That you have to make sure the new added patch Again, you have your own requirement, but your requirement itself, okay, the number you have, you are getting is less and your requirement is more. So let's see the lesser number, how bigger possible sum he can make me achieve. So in this case, we will add only two and four and that is our other patches which we have. So we have ultimately realized that if some number isn't formable, then as a sum for sure then we will have to add it as a patch although we saw that the possible numbers to add as a patch are one up till that number itself but we realize as a greedy behavior we will always try to add that number highest number as a patch ultimately the last example we had a one already i was looking i was up looking for a two i got a two also because of two i achieved the possible sum as two plus one as three also because of two, again, again, I was looking for a four, but because of two coming in, I achieved a two plus three, five as a sum also. Thus, I was able to achieve all the numbers from one to five, and that was my aim also. Okay, so no patch required. So ultimately, what you can do, you can just write the code. Ultimately, you can just get the size because you have to iterate on all the elements. Why iterating on all the elements is required? Because you know that some smaller number can give me, if you remembered, Five could have given me a number 12 as a sum. So it is obvious that I will have to return all the numbers of the array. Okay. And this is an achievable sum. So I took variable as number of patches required, which is the answer for me. Maximum number formable, or I can say these are the maximum sum formable so far. Or I can say that this is the maximum number of num maximum number of sums formable so far. Now, in the very beginning, I know that I will start from a zero because I have to form a one, then two, then three, then four, up till 20 I have to form. So initially, I have nothing formed. I have formed a zero. So, okay. Why my number which I have formed is less than n? Because you know that you are forming all these numbers. So these are actually your, this, this, this number 12 represents your maximum number formed so far. This, this, this 22 represents maximum number formed so far. And I have to make sure that I am going up till I have achieved my n. n is 20. So I will simply say until I have achieved it, I will keep on trying. When I say I will keep on trying, I will for sure make sure that if I am on a specific index, okay, I am starting from a 0, which means the next thing I am looking for is a 1. Do I have a 1? And how I am saying? Initially, I was at a 0. I was looking for a next number. Next number is plus 1. Plus 1 is I am looking for this number, 1. Okay, if I'm looking for this number one, oh, I have a one. So ideally, I'm looking for, if I'm on existing number zero, I'm looking for the next number, which is plus one. If it is equal, again, just, just, just ignore. If it is equal to your nums of i, which means you are good to take that number and if he can contribute. Okay, I will take that number. And thus, my maximum number will now become a one. Because I took that, he will now become a one. And I should move on to my index to the next, next, next index. Okay, now your maximum number is one. Okay, again, uh, if loop is done, you will simply go back to your while loop. Again, you have not achieved your n because so far you have to achieve 20, you have only achieved your one. Okay, you still uh, can try for all the elements in your array, but now the next achievable value which you want will be one. You have right now, the next, the next thing you want to achieve is one plus one, which is two. 
so i want to achieve a 2 but 2 is not equal to my nums of 5 okay 2 is not equal to my sorry which is 2 is not equal to 5 but ideally if i would have had value as 8 here 8 plus 1 would have been 8 plus 1 would have been 9 9 is what i want to achieve and this is giving me a 5 so 5 already i have so that is the reason i put a greater than equal to if you even don't understand right now okay let's put equal to only so if you have a one you want to achieve a two you realize you two is not here which means you will have to add two from your end so i added two which means number of patches i increased by two because i added a two from my end if i added a two from my end which means i added a two from my end existing formable numbers were only one because of two as a number being added i know because of two being added i can now form what all numbers I can form a 2 obviously and up till so far what all numbers were formable 0 1 you can say so 2 plus the last number formable which was if this is you were at maximum number as 1 this is the maximum number plus 1 so you added a maximum number plus 1 as a patch so all the possible sums which are formable are for sure this last value will be as I showed you maximum number which is obviously this 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 number will be maximum number maximum number plus this maximum number is one plus your maximum number plus one okay if you don't understand it it's very basic but this will be two this will sorry this is one and this is one plus one which is two this is what you have added so right now and this is the possible achievable sum previously okay let's 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 go one more time if now i can say that the maximum possible achievable sum so far is three is a 3 right now still my nums of i is still my nums of i is still not equal now i want to achieve a 4 4 is missing and my nums of i is 5 i have to again add a patch if i am seeing i have to again add a patch i will add a patch increase the patch count by 1 when i say add a patch i have to add again my maximum number is right now 3 i will add a patch of maximum number plus 1 if I add that patch of maximum number plus one, what will happen is maximum plus one, I've added a patch. So this is max number plus one, plus one. This is a patch I have added. So what all sums I can make now for sure from this number. And these are all the existing sums possible. So I can make a plus this, like I, I, I can make a plus one, plus two, plus three, up till what? Plus maximum number, because this is maximum number. So this this gives me this number seven, which is maximum number is three plus one. The patch I have added plus three will give me a seven. That is the reason I increment my maximum number formable now will be as seven. Okay, this is now seven. I'll now again, uh, now the maximum number formable is seven. Again, you will compare with five. It is not equal. Still, you will add a patch. No, obviously, bro. Which means you are looking for a eight. 8 is not equal to 5 but because of 5 coming in 5 plus 3 can form 8 so I can easily say that maximum number plus 1 which is the number I am looking for if it is more than or equal to my nums of 5 only then I should add it if it is less which means nums of 5 so this, this, this maximum number as you can see this maximum number it is more than equal to my nums of 5 so I can simply incorporate it. If I can incorporate it, simply increment your maximum number, which means maximum number is 7, plus 5 is the new maximum number which you can form. 7 plus 5 is the new maximum number you can form, which is 12. Okay, now this has become to 12. If this has become to 12, ultimately I can say, okay, next I can go on. I has increased, I plus plus. If this is 10, again, 12 is more than equal to 10. I'm looking for 13 right now, and uh, 13 is obviously more than equal to 10 so i can simply make sure that i can increase and say i can now form 22 itself i can now form 22 itself and thus achievable number was actually 20 my this achieve my right now number is 22 so i am good to break down from the loop and that is the only code which you wanted simply iterating simply kind of a sliding window approach not like not sliding window but simply kind of a merge interval kind of algorithm which we are using and going on through the algorithm cool let's see the code 
before we before going forward i hope you guys understood why greedy approach was needed why taking the maximum value was needed why grabbing the maximum value was needed because we realized let's say we were missing a four we had the options of adding a one two or three or a four we added the four which is the maximum number because if we were if we would have added a four then we would have able to achieve a num as the sums as four five and six and seven but if we would have tried to add a two in the existing sums we would have achieved the sums as three four and five thus kind of missing the possible sums as six and seven which is kind of i am trying to achieve as many bigger sums as possible because i want to reach my n as possible cool the code is exactly same uh, i just took long integers just because this maximum number can be intermax like as in near to intermax and this can be also intermax so it can go out of my bound you can also put a condition if you want to take an int here but okay as a safety check i just took a long int now um as i showed you exactly same code exactly same code while my max number is less than n i'll try to iterate on my nums array and then ultimately i will just make sure that if the maximum number plus one is more than equal to my nums of i i can simply incorporate that nums of i else i'll increase the patch count and will try to take that maximum new sum so which means maximum number possible and ultimately return that maximum number now the complexity for this for sure because of this if condition ultimately you will try for all the possible i's but again this is the if condition so you will try for all the possible i's so for sure this will incorporate o of a size obviously but you will say arin how how big this loop will go which means this while loop how big this will go or how long this will go obviously let's take the worst possible case first possible case is i have only one element and my n is 2 into 1 in 9 which is the maximum number so 1 will be there 2 i will add as a patch because i was adding a maximum number as a patch so i'll add 2 as a patch so i'll add 2 as a patch i will achieve a 3 obviously 4 will be missing i will add 4 as a patch then i will achieve by my because of adding 4 as a patch i will achieve 5 6 and 7 by by, by adding 4 as a patch now missing is 8 as a patch 8 as a number i'll add 8, 8 as a patch because of 8 as a patch i will achieve 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so you see because of adding highest number as a patch i am able to achieve the more number of numbers and now i'm go i have gone to 16 again because this i will achieve more number as a patch so you see i'm adding 2 4 8 16 i'm adding log n patches i'm adding log n patches does this loop this loop because you see that you are going and increasing your number so ideally this loop in worst case will go to log n times so you will try for log n patches but ultimately you have this boundation of size also so it will be log n plus your size it is not n2 because this is trying separately for all the indexes and this is trying separately for this log n times so it will be log n plus size and the space will be o of 1 and that's your answer cool I hope you got it. I hope why greedy is useful, and I hope why greedy was used in this approach. And I hope that you guys got it. Why you cannot use a bit set approach. Cool. Bye bye. Take care. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps us a lot. It keeps us motivated. Bye bye. Take care. Discord join, Galena. Bye bye.